Would you ever want to race in the Daytona 500? Would you, you know, want to I, do that? I, I'm not. I'm not so sure. You know, I mean, it, it's 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 always interesting for me to see, and I know a lot of those guys there. And mm-hmm. I was down there last weekend. Um, my wife Courtney was doing something down there, and so I went down. I know Dale Jr. pretty well, and Jimmy Johnson, a lot of those guys, and. And it was interesting going there and seeing the cars, and they are a lot safer uh, today than they were just a handful of years ago, and, and that was nice. And I think a lot of that technology has come from indie cars. so I'd feel better. People think I'm crazy saying this coming from an open wheel, mm-hmm. open cockpit car, and talking about something that's got a roof over your head not being as safe, but uh, they, they've done a lot that, that was a little bit more interesting to me. Um, but honestly, I grew up in indie car racing. Um, I love IndyCar racing, and for me, there's really nothing else that's ever interests me. But you never say never. You know, that's one thing I've learned in my time is you just never you never say never. And if an opportunity comes up, mm-hmm. the one thing I know about NASCAR is due to the physicality of it, you, you can, versus IndyCar, which is much more physical, you can do it longer. Mm-hmm. And so who knows? Maybe when the IndyCar career is over, you know, you go try it out or something. But those guys work hard. I mean, those guys on the road, 36 weekends a year. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.